Hi, this is Dr. Keynes. Thanks for joining me. Um, you probably found this video because you have recently had a prostate cancer diagnosis and you're trying to understand what that means. This is a presentation that's going to go through prostate cancer grading and staging, which should answer a lot of your questions. So you may have had a prostate biopsy. This is a picture of prostate biopsy, um, but a better one is this. This is your bladder, this is the prostate, and this is the, the urethra heading right through the middle of the prostate gland. The rectum is right next door. So the urinary tract is in the front, the rectum is next door, and we take advantage of this proximity and this is how a prostate biopsy is typically accomplished. Ultrasound probe is in the rectum and a hollow needle pierces into the prostate and a core needle sample is taken. The standard is to do this at least 12 times. There are other ways to do a prostate biopsy. One approach is called transperineal where the needles go through the skin rather than through the rectum. Each of the core needle samples is a tubular, long, thin strip. It gets mounted on slides, and a pathologist looks at this under the microscope. This happens to be what normal prostate tissue looks like, and they may see areas of cancer. On the left side here, this is the grid pattern that a standard 12-needle prostate biopsy follows. We divide the prostate in half, and then upper third, middle third, lower third. That creates six zones, and we get two needle passes in each zone. We're trying to distribute them evenly throughout the prostate. This is prostate cancer. Could a prostate cancer uh, be missed? Yes, it could. This is an example of where the needles just happen to miss a uh, prostate cancer. And in this patient, these two needles went right through it. The important thing to understand is the number of needles that hit a cancer spot is a rough measure of how much cancer is in the whole prostate. So only one or two needles is a small amount. 10 or 12 suggests that there is a substantial amount of prostate cancer in the prostate gland. This is the most important part of what I want to review today, the Gleason score. Dr. Gleason was a pathologist and he described a scoring system to describe how aggressive is my prostate cancer. And this cartoon, even knowing nothing about what prostate cancer looks like under the microscope, you can get a sense that over here, these are prostate glands. They're very organized and uniform. Over here, they look angry and like they want to try to spread. For reasons that are beyond the scope of this presentation, Pathologists don't give scores of one or two these days. They're basically deciding, am I going to give a score of three, four, or five to describe low aggressiveness, middle of the road aggressiveness, or highly aggressive prostate cancer? But the problem arises where sometimes the pathologist in a needle sample will see some areas that look like a three and some that look like a four, and they don't know which number they should put. So the scoring system allows for two scores. You can choose three, four, or five for each one, and then they add them up. So the final sum can be between six and 10. If all they see is a three, they'll just put that number twice. If all they see is a four, same thing, four, four. But if they see one, two different patterns, whichever is the most common goes first. So bear with me. These are all the combinations you could get. Again, if all they see is one pattern, you'll get three plus three, four plus four, five plus five. But let's say they see some three and some four. The sum is still gonna be seven. But in this case, the four pattern was more common. It's in the first slot. So four plus three is slightly more aggressive than three plus four. So we have this situation where the least aggressive cancer you can have is a Gleason grade six, and the most is a 10. But 
you know, we don't like having scoring systems that start with six. So they're grouped into group one, two, three, four, or five. And now we have a system that starts with group one. So group one is Gleason six, two is a seven, three plus four, three is a seven, four plus three, etc. For active surveillance, which is a plan of close monitoring of prostate cancer rather than um, treatment, it's highly um, accepted as an approach for group one. For, for group two and higher, typically treatment is favored, although for some patients with only a small amount of group two, close monitoring can be considered. There are definitely other factors that come into play, which you should uh, discuss with your urologist. Now, everyone knows, uh, uh, or even with a quick Google search, patients learn that they should ask their doctor, what stage is my cancer? But a lot of people are not prepared to digest the answer. Any cancer can only be one of four stages. Stage one is a tiny amount of cancer contained in whatever organ where, where it started. So in the case of prostate cancer, a tiny amount of prostate cancer in the prostate. Stage two is a more substantial amount, but still contained. Stage three means bulging. All it needs to do is bulge through the surface of the prostate in one spot, it becomes stage three. Or it could crawl into the ejaculatory pouch uh, next door. This, is, this does not mean spread or metastasis, it's just on its way out. And stage four is metastasis or spread somewhere far away, like to lymph nodes or to other organs. Here's another view of the same thing. Stage one, tiny amount contained. Stage two, more substantial amount contained. Stage three, breaking through the surface. Stage four is spread far away. What this is showing is another way of becoming stage four is if you grow or invade into um, the rectum, which is quite unusual these days. Now, what are lymph nodes? This is a, a view of um, the body with the organs removed. These are the largest blood vessels in the body, the aorta, which splits to send blood to each of your legs, and the pelvic organs. Each one of these jelly bean-sized things is called the lymph node. So that's it. Um, just a quick summary of prostate cancer grading which answers the question, how aggressive is my cancer? And staging, which answers the question, where is the cancer and how much of it um, is present? Um, if there's some other questions that you'd like me to review in this fashion, please leave a comment below. I hope this was helpful to you. Have a nice day.